Hello and thanks for stopping by. This is Chopper Command for the Commodore 64 and I'm playing this game on a C64 full-size console. Chopper Command was a side-scrolling shooter for the Atari 2600 released by Activision in 1982. This version was a homebrew port made by Ace Savona, a developer of the Portal conversion to the Commodore 64. It's a homebrew and it's available for free download online. I've played Chopper Command for the Atari 2600 recently, so coming across this version for the Commodore 64, I'm on board. We get a classic looking Commodore 64 splash screen, followed by the sounds of a starting helicopter rotor. This is followed by some decent Commodore 80s synth music. The only thing I'll say about the music is that I wish it played over the gameplay itself. Overall, I have to say this game plays pretty much like the Atari 2600 version. You're a helicopter pilot trying to protect a caravan driving across the desert. There are enemy helicopters and jets flying around the level to try to destroy them. You fly left to right and speed over to them to engage them and try to destroy them. I think flying in this game feels a bit more comfortable than the 2600 version. You fly in any particular direction, and when you ease off the joystick, you slow down, and I seem to be able to time my encounters a little easier in this version of the game. The enemies, however, they seem to destroy my caravan a little quicker in this version, but I don't have a problem with a little addition to the difficulty. The graphic color palette is similar to the Atari version for sure, but the graphics here are better. The Horizon graphics have received an upgrade compared to the Atari version as well, and it works really good here. The sounds of the game as you fly around, the helicopter blades, the rotors sound appropriate, although the volume of the machine guns kind of overwhelm that sound a little bit. You can hear both of them at the same time, but the gun certainly takes over. It's probably worth turning on some outside music to help with the monotony. You can hold the trigger down to auto-fire, and I imagine you're going to do this often, as there are a ton of enemies to defeat here. I find myself easing off the trigger after I clear an area just to give my ears a break. I do prefer the rotor sounds. You get three lives in this game, and I find that I can get killed just as quickly in this game as in the Atari version. This is one of those games that can wipe you out really fast, crashing into other helicopters or jets or just taking it on the chin when they shoot you. You can run through lives really quick here. But I'm not dropping quarters into an arcade console, so I guess that's not a huge deal. I find I do a little better in this game if I don't try to clear each cluster of enemies before I move on to the next one. If I generally keep flying in one direction and take a few enemies out with each pass, I seem to stay alive a little longer. You'll need to keep relying on the radar at the bottom of the screen, of course, to know when you're approaching enemies. Paying attention is definitely helping my strafing runs. Overall, I think this game is pretty faithful to the Atari 2600 version, but it improved it in some basic areas. The graphics are a bit better here, and the turning graphics for your helicopter when you go back and forth, those are kind of nice. We don't really get that in the Atari version. The explosion for when you get blown up is pretty decent too. And like the Atari version, if you fly too low, you can still crash into the caravans. So be alert, don't fly too low. Well, that's all I have for Chopper Command for the Commodore 64. Thanks for giving this one a look, and I'll catch you next time.